Hi, this is Sherri Ann Richardson from ExperimentalHomesteader.com and I'm doing a collaboration video today with the YouTube Mommy Meetup group and all of us are going to be doing a candy unboxing. It's taking place right now, um, May 6th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our goal was to look for local made candy. Um, as far as I know, there's nothing like that in Marion, Indiana, unless you make it yourself, of course, and sometimes I do. We do have a place that sells chocolate from the South Bend Chocolate Company, which is not too far from here. But, frankly, I don't like milk chocolate. I've tried their chocolate. I'm not impressed. Um, I like Italian dark chocolate. So what I did was I went out and I found five packages of candy that I had never tried before that sounded like it would be pretty good and that's what I picked to do this with and so I hope that's okay and we're going to take a look now at what I've picked okay the first item up was these um, and I know this is not pure but we're going to call it pure chocolate for this these are dark chocolate caramel flavored truffles they are dark, dark chocolate truffles with caramel filling I love dark chocolate the darker the better Okay, and I'm going to open this up. I suppose I should have brought a glass of water or a tea or something over here, but let's just see. This says that there are 10 pieces in here, and it is 2.65 ounce. Oh, those are cute. Um, I'm going to open this. Now I'm hungry, and I'm going to try them. So, the smell of dark chocolate. Wow, just as soon as I open this, this is what they look like. They are flat on the bottom. They are very nicely dipped. Let's see what they taste like. Mm. Wow. The filling is very soft. Mm. Wow. These are a hit. Definitely, definitely a hit. And the box reseals very nicely. Mm. Those are good. Very dark chocolate. I wonder what that percentage is. Um, okay, it just says the richest Belgian chocolate, and indeed it is, and I'm not seeing a percentage here, but the first ingredient is dark chocolate, and that's what I look for, because I don't want sugar to be my first ingredient, because I do have trouble with sugar, especially if anything is way too sweet. So I'm going to take a second here, I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go get myself a drink and bring it over here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm glad I took a few seconds to get up to do this, because when I turned the camera off, I found out my batteries were about to crash. So, that saved the day. Alright, the next item that I decided to try are the Maggie Lion Chocolatiers Gummy Flowers. And I love gummy flowers. I don't like gummy worms, but I like gummy bears and those kind of things. And again, when I pulled this package open, I could smell, oh, these are going to be good. I'm going to have a purple flower. Mm. Very chewy, very fruity and flavorful, like a gummy should be. It gets my seal of approval. Not too sweet, either sweet enough, but not too sweet. Okay, these are made in the USA. 
I didn't see okay these are not but these are made in the USA okay next I want to try some traditional German hard candy I think I should save this. I'm going to set this aside because that'll take me a while to get through. Let's try these uh, Tahitian Vanilla Natural Caramels. And um, it says they're manufactured by Affy Tapple LLC in Niles, Illinois. So that's just stayed away. The first ingredient is sugar, but that's correct for caramel. One of the reasons I can't eat a lot of it, but I do love it. Okay, I'm just going to set that there. This is what the little box looks like. It says there's 12 pieces in here. So very nice. So, Mrs. Prendables is what it says on the top. So let's see if this meets my seal of approval. I did not smell anything when I opened that up. Very soft and chewy. I can taste the caramel, but these are not the best caramels I've had. They're okay, and if you want one that is really, really soft, these are really soft. Um, they just don't have a real strong flavor. Okay, next is from the Hawaiian Licorice Company. We have the Black Tropical Storm Licorice. It says it is all natural. And... These are manufactured in Mexico. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So, I like licorice. Let's see what these taste like. A slight licorice smell when I open it. So, not overpowering or anything. Okay. This is what they look like. I can taste the licorice powder. These are not sweet. They are not even close to a Twizzler. I will tell you that. I can taste the wheat flour in them. They do contain licorice root extract, cocoa powder for color. I could not taste any chocolate. Um, sunflower oil, anise oil, which yes I could taste, and natural flavor. So they're not bad. Um, like I said, they're not a Twizzler, but they're not horrible either so they're just not real sweet um and no artificial flavoring so okay and now we're going to go back to the traditional german hard candy orange and lemon candy and these are from germany they are imported by chicago importing company in huntley illinois and I'm hoping that these are really good. I really like the little shapes. Um, 
these would be lovely to set out in a candy dish, especially if you're having a dinner or a get-together of some kind. I'm going to go ahead and use the carpet knife to open this up with. Slight citrus smell. Okay, let me try one of the orange candies. Do you see how cute those are? They look like little orange slices. Okay, the first ingredient is sugar. The second ingredient is glucose syrup. They are flavored with natural orange and lemon oil and colored with natural colors of turmeric root, carrot, and red beet. I like the way they taste. They're, they're not overly sweet, like I said, which is surprising given the ingredient list. They have a very light flavor, so you can taste it, but it's not like eating a real orange. They are melting easily enough in my mouth. But not real fast. So these will be an item that I will probably keep on hand because I like hard candy from time to time. I like that. So the uh, caramel truffles, the dark chocolate caramel truffles, the gummy flowers, and the traditional German hard candy were my favorites. The uh, Tahitian vanilla caramel and the all natural licorice were okay. Um, I probably won't buy those again. I just really didn't care for them that much. So that's my candy unboxing video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you will go check everybody else's out. Um, like I said, I'm doing this in collaboration with the YouTube Mommy Meetup. So lots and lots of bloggers are going to be doing candy unboxing videos tonight. Um, May 6th, 9 p.m. And thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come on over to my blog, experimentalhomecenter.com. You can sign up for my newsletter, check my articles out, and you can see all my reviews under my name on Amazon.com. Thanks again. Have a great night. Bye.